Now, AMC stock had a very good battle at the end of the day today, a battle for $40 per share. Actually, we were watching it during the live stream, and it was pretty exciting. We had like two seconds left, and the shorts or the hedge funds came out, and they sold the stock in the last two seconds to drive it back down from around $40.01 to $40 per share flat, and we held our own. Guys, they are running out of ammunition. There used to be days on Friday, if you've been around for any time now, you know that AMC stock always had bad Friday after bad Friday after bad Friday, and they can't even push us down below $40 per share anymore. So this is excellent news, all right? They're not out there shorting AMC in the same quantity they were before, but in fact, it's not good just for the stock price. But it's good for the, the short thesis, like us destroying the short thesis overall, because the stronger we are, the weaker they are. And guys, AMC's got a lot going for it right now, so let's just jump right into it and discuss the, everything that they've got going on. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to trading and you want to get into the stock market, you can use the link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up an account. A $100 deposit gets you at least two free stocks. And then if you're into cryptocurrency as well, you can trade any cryptocurrency, at least $1, and they're going to give you at least $5 in free Shiba Inu coins. So make sure to check that out. But guys, we've had a lot going on this week, especially after Adam Aaron announced, well, well, at the very beginning of the week, we had earnings. My gosh, you got to go back all the way to Monday to see that we had earnings. But we did have good earnings reports. We beat revenue expectations. We we beat uh, our earnings per share expectations. So all good there. We did pull back a little bit after the earnings report with a lot of people kind of getting out and not wanting to weather the storm of, of the volatility that takes place during earnings releases. And that's okay, right? We understand that there's still people in AMC stock that are not considered apes. And as they enter and exit, we may see some price fluctuations and some volatility in the price of AMC stock. But And then later on in the week, Adam Aaron came out that he was selling 53 plus million dollars worth of his shares. And I did a video on that. I believe it was last night, kind of not justifying his decision to do so. But at the end of the day, guys, we have to remember, all right, that is Adam Aaron's money. He can do whatever he wants with his money. It's a different story if he's talking about issuing AMC shares or, or going out there and diluting AMC stock because we own AMC. We don't own Adam Aaron, right? But we do own AMC. So we can decide what to do with AMC shares, AMC's money, and so on. We can't decide what we do with his money. It's his decision. And if he wants to miss out on the short squeeze and all of the gains that are going to come because of that, I, you know, I, there's nothing we can do about that. So we had to weather that storm. And now we've got some actual good news coming out that AMC is doing a little bit of a partnership with Disney Plus over the weekend. We're viewers. This is... This is actually a pretty good idea. I, I, I guess. I, I, it's fun, I should say. I don't know how much revenue it's going to generate or so on. We know that AMC is doing a very good job at generating revenue. So this is another unique idea that I like. And it's not one that's been mentioned a lot with uh, like all of the things in the partnerships with GameStop and the NFTs and the cryptos and everything. This is one I haven't heard before, and I was reading some articles today, seeing what's going on with AMC. And, and they're doing this, this Disney Plus weekend. So for $5, you're able to go and see a, a screening of a Disney film, but the catch, there's always a catch, right? How do you go to the movie theater for $5? The catch is you don't know which movie you're going to be watching. It is a surprise. So you may go and you may sit down there and you see a movie that you've watched 15 times already, or you may find out that you haven't seen it yet and uh, it ends up being well, or ends up turning out pretty well. But the thing is, guys, what this shows us, what it comes down to is AMC Entertainment is going through every route possible to increase their revenue. All right, now I know that they might not go out there and make a... Uh, $100 million by selling $5 movie tickets for some Disney movies and so on. They might not make a billion dollars by, by doing these things, but it shows that they're trying. And anytime that they can increase revenue, 
any time that they can cut the debt on their balance sheet, any time they can become in a better financial position, that hurts the shorts. It might not reflect immediately in the stock price. AMC stock might not go up because of it. It might not hold steady because of it, but it absolutely hurts the short shares that are outstanding. Why? Because the short shares are thriving off the fact that they believe AMC will fail as a company. That You want to see the stock price come down if you are shorting. And the AMC stock price is holding extremely steady. It is, very, it is showing so much support in this area. It should inspire you. I mean, think about it, guys. We've watched it go from 70 to 28, back up to 52, and it has been volatile, but it is finding a massive amount of support, and now we are closing above $40 per share and holding strong. This is incredible. All right, We know that AMC's balance sheet needs some work. We know that their financials have a long way to go in order to justify the current share price. But it is incredible to me that they are doing every single thing possible to increase revenue, to fix their balance sheet, and to just burn these short positions out there. Now, once the... Once the shorts realize that AMC stock is no longer, one, decreasing their revenue, but revenue is steadily increasing, two, that they're surviving the pandemic, which I don't know why they haven't realized that part yet, and three, that we are actually doing what we say we're going to do and we are not going anywhere, then they will make the decision to cover their shorts. And if they don't make the decision to cover their shorts, eventually they will get margin called. Because the cost to borrow will either go up too high, because the stock price will either go up too high, or the lenders just no longer want to be associated with that risk. So what it boils down to now is a game of who can last longer. Will the apes last longer than the hedge funds, or will the hedge funds last longer than the apes? I'm sitting in front of you guys right now telling you that I will absolutely last longer than any hedge fund out there. The position is set aside in my portfolio and it is not going anywhere. I don't care what the price does. That position is not being sold until the shorts are covering. Now guys, just let us know down in the comments below. Kind of just join together. Are we in this? Are we in this? Because I am in this, and I hope that you're in it as well, and you're holding no matter what the situation. If that button's still red, make sure to click and subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Weeble and Binance down in the description below. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.